when patients come to me and ask me about high blood pressure, and they're very concerned because their doctor and the television has told them that high blood pressure is the silent killer. I ask them, well, do you want to check your blood pressure when you're walking upstairs? They look at me like, like I've lost my mind. Do you want to check it when you're bike riding? Do you want to check it when you're lifting weights? Do you want to check it then? Patients consistently say, well, no, it'll go up. Everybody understands that your blood pressure is going to go up and down depending on the need, depending on the need. And we've already gone through that higher blood pressure had lower death rates, that blood pressure is variable depending on your need. When I ask people, uh, what, what's a normal blood pressure? And when they tell me, well, it's 120 over 80. Is that one blood pressure for everyone at every time? Remember, under physical, chemical, and emotional stress load, your body is going to adapt to that by initiating that fight or flight response. Blood pressure has to go up if you're under any type of stress response. What about dehydration? The blood gets thick. Blood pressure has to go up. So all of these adaptive physiologic responses, and we know the disaster that's created if you're treating high blood pressure with a chemical to alter it. Your body still needs it up here. None of the interventions we've talked about or that are even suggested increase the efficiency of blood. Blood has a function. Let's look at the function of blood. That's right, blood has a function. And this is one of the things, this is why this is my favorite section. I, I mean, up until now, I've been describing stupid, how there's an arrogance in the medical system, how they're second guessing the intelligence of your body. In this section, I want you to walk by a mirror and smile when you see your reflection, that your body is an intelligent, self-healing and self-regulating being. Let's look at the functions of blood. It supplies oxygen to the tissue. It's supply of nutrients such as glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids. It removes waste such as carbon dioxide, urea, lactic acid. It has immunologic functions, white blood cells, and the detection of foreign materials by antibodies. Coagulation, which is one part of the body's self-repair mechanism. Messenger functions transport of hormones and the signaling of tissue damage, the regulation of body pH and the regulation of core body temperature. There's a lot in a drop of blood. I want you to get away from the, from the idea or the misconception that blood is just red blood cells. There's a number of different cells inside of that. 